in this episode of Unpacked. I told them that I am bisexual and I want to explore that side of me. That's when we came to an agreement that, okay, we'll have a goal that we'll be both sharing because he didn't have a problem with having two girls. Luckily, the first person that we went for is the girl that I was looking for. The original the girl. The original. Yo, guys, your yeah. story. <laughs> <laughs> We all know about polygamy, but have you ever heard of polyamory? That's what we're talking about today, and our guests are here to share their stories. Let's unpack. Fletcher Mohwane and Letabo Mujalefa from Limpopo met in 2018 after seeing each other at a party. Two years later, they met Naledi Maguelo from Johannesburg, and they all started dating each other. These three individuals are in a polyamorous relationship, a relationship where they are all romantically involved with one another. This is their story. Let's unpack. Fletcher, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Kalevo. Usli Tabo, welcome. Thank you for coming through. Thank you. So I'm going to let Fletcher explain <laughs> what is polyamory. Really, I don't know what it is. But because cause the reason I'm saying this is because um, when I met her and then when we decided to find another partner, mm. we did not know what this, what you call polyamory. Mm. So it just happened and then we found, it, found out about it later or what we're doing, it's called polyamory. So basically, the three of us, we are in a relationship. I'm dating her, she's dating a lady, a lady's dating me, mm. and we are in one relationship. So, Lily three, yes. you're all dating each other. Each other, yes. Unlike in the case of polygamy, yeah. it would be we're not dating Litabo, we're not dating na lady. Na lady. Yeah. But now you, na lady and you are also in yeah. a relationship. Yes. So the question I would have is, is it literally one relationship or is it three relationships in one? It's one Both. and three. Ooh, <laughs> la bona, Okay, no, you, no, you explain okay. to me from your perspective. It's one, it's one and three, it's both. It's, it's we are both. We all in one relationship mm -hmm. and we all have separate relationships. Uh-huh, uh, -huh. uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So from, from your perspective, and I'll go back to how this all came about because okay. like you already explained, you didn't know there was even a name for it. You just yeah, knew yeah. you were doing something. Only later you're like, oh, this is the name, yeah. right? Yeah. When you say it's one and three and three in one basically, you all, you each have individual relationships. Separately. Yeah. Yes, which means the relationship doesn't exist only when the three of you are together. No. Mm. The relationship exists when the two of you are together, when the other two are together. 100%. Okay. okay. So how did the two of you meet? Because you guys actually met first. <laughs> so I knew him before, but he didn't know me. And then there was a function. When you say knew him before, you mean like you were stalking him online Something or? Like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, it happened that there was a function at home mm. and he saw a girl there. Mm. And um, we have a mutual friend, me and him. And he asked the friend for the number of the girl he saw there. Mm. And it happened that the guy thought that he was talking about me and not mm. that girl. And it happened that I also saw the girl there mm. and I didn't know who she was. Mm -hmm. So um, he texted me when he got the number and that's how he started kicking it off. And later on, we found that girl and we dated that girl together too. So before we even get to that part, I mean, were you aware that you were given the wrong girl's number? Yes, yes, I was aware. But then like when, 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 when he gave me the numbers, he was sure that he was giving me the right numbers. Yeah. Uh, because I, I actually marked her with, the, with, with her dress coat. Yes. She was wearing uh, long pants, and this one was not wearing long pants. Yes. So when I explained, then uh, only to find out, or this, because I told her, or nah, I'm looking for a girl dressed in short, uh, mm. in long pants, mm. puma pants, whatever. And she said, I was not wearing that, but I still like you. 
Oh. Yeah, you look, you look hard in So we're no yeah. opportunists, like I'm not I go in. <laughs> I go in. I don't play. Mm. Yeah, but then um, I liked her, so yeah. So you guys started kicking it. Yeah. yeah. At what point did you decide let's make this official end date? Because uh, we started, but we didn't talk much over the phone. So what happened is. Uh, we just talked a little, then because she was in nail spray at mm. school, and I was here in Joburg. When you say school, do you mean high school or tertiary? Well, she, was, she was in high school, grade 12. And you were how old? I was 18. And how old were you at the time? 28. Mm. So she was in nail spray, and, and then you Joburg. were in Joburg, yeah. Yeah. So when we went home in December, uh, that's when we met, and uh, we, we, we took off to Durban for our first date. What? Yeah. You guys went to Durban for your first date? Yeah. Like a road trip? Kind of. The two, as in you no, drove no, no, together? No. Yes, we drove together. Okay. So, yeah, and then we, we actually, we left each other that much. Then we, we never, like, everything just, just, just it was just fast. It mm. was just fast. Because in January, we moved in together and stuff. Wait, so yeah. at what month were you going to Durban? December. 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 You drive to Durban for your first date, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. How long does this first date last? How many days? Uh, look, that was literally the first day we met, yes. actually. Yeah. So you're in Durban how long together? Uh, it was three days. Three yeah. days. Yeah. And then literally a month later, you move in together. Yes. Okay, so you guys just knew from early on that you're trying to do this. Yeah, because yes. actually we... We understand, we understood each other that much. Because, mm. like, every, we, we, we talked, we communicated a lot. When, 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 we, when we met and when we went to Devon, we started talking and we found that we, we, we liked the same things. Mm. Yeah, then we were like, ah, what's the fuss? Let's just do this. You literally even face, like the same clothes. Yeah. <laughs> she, she liked, actually, Grace, her color. It's not my color. Yes. But I, I, I kind of liked it. Yes. Because some of my stuff were great. Even my, my, my apartment had like great stuff. Yes. So when she came to me, she's like, uh, actually, I only do great. I was like, oh, let me support you. Oh my God, why not? So yeah. Okay, so you guys move in together. Yes. At what point did you make him aware that actually I'm not just into men? In February, I realized that I can be open with them. So. I told him that I am bisexual and I want to explore that side of me. When did you, for your, in your own personal journey, mm -hmm. discover that you are bisexual? I'm not quite sure, but um, during high school, I would hook up with girls at house parties. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And there was no part of you that thought, um, I am a lesbian, you knew right away you are bisexual. Yes. Mm. Mm. I, I, I knew right away that I'm interested in both genders, not just yes, one. Yes, yes. So now you tell him, and maybe reenact the conversation of how you tell him, listen. Listen, I'm bisexual, and I want um, us to have this open relationship. I wanted us to have a relationship where it's honest, I don't want it to be a secret. I want the girl to know him. I want him to know the girl. And I don't want it to be separate because it was going to cause something like an open relationship. I felt like if we don't do this together, it might end up being open and he might maybe go out and have a separate girlfriend and mm. I might have a separate girl. So if we do it together, it would work better. What was it in your mind, though, that wasn't saying... Because on the one hand, and I, I want it to be explicit for viewers watching, people have this perception that when you're bisexual, you're always going to be cheating with another gender. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So there's this fear that some straight men have when a woman says I'm bisexual. Oh, okay, she's going to be cheating on me with <laughs> other girls, right? So yeah. I want us to... to to make a, a distinct difference to the fact yeah. that when you were saying to him, I'm bisexual, the part about you saying, I'm bisexual and I would like to explore, right? Where did that part come from? Why was it not just, I'm bisexual, I just want you to know I happen to also be attracted to women and it finishes there. What made you then be like, and I want to explore? Uh, we talked and we were like, let's figure out how we can make this work openly. 
like mm. not have separate relationships, but make it one. So we had a discussion, we had a conversation about it. We are open, we are honest with each other. So that's when we came to an agreement that, okay, we'll have a goal that we'll be both sharing because he didn't have a problem with having two girls. Well, most men watching are going to think, of course, he wouldn't have a problem. <laughs> you know, um, what I'm wondering is... I would, I would have a problem. <laughs> they cost. You'd have a problem if... They, they cost. Oh, having... Yeah. Yes, actually. Yes. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. But for me, I, I'm wondering, and this is the part I'm curious about. I can understand what you're saying about I'm um, bisexual, I'd like to explore. When you guys got together and you decided we're moving in together, was it already a given that you are monogamous? Uh, Because if, if you and I are getting together and we're saying we're a couple, yeah. but us being a couple means we're not seeing other people. Mm -hmm. Now suddenly another one comes and says, oh, by the way, let's invite someone. Was that agreement not already in place that we are monogamous? No, it wasn't. As we met, we realized that we we're both open-minded people and mm. yeah, we mm. were trying things. But you, you weren't seeing other people on the side while you were together at the beginning? No, because because um, when we came back from Deben, we, we 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 talked about it. It was like, um, go go sort out your life. Let me go sort out my life. Let's remove everyone that is in our lives. If whatever we are doing on our side, let's just try to cut it off. If we can, if really this is what we want. Mm -hmm. And then when we came back together, that's why we took a decision that like we're gonna move in together. Mm -hmm. It is because like we we came to an agreement that we're gonna sort out our lives first mm -hmm. before we can actually come and say we we are dating. Mm -hmm. um, and on on my side, um, I even told her when she told me that she's bisexual. I was like, oh, for me. It's most in most cases it's about sex, but for me it's not about sex. It's about because um, most of people would say, ah, "What's on? Like, she's a girl. They, they don't like they, are, they will just kiss. That's it." Mm. You know what I'm I would say I would be jealous if my uh, like my girlfriend is sharing my time with other pe uh, other person and I don't know about it. Yes. And and then they sharing emotional uh, emotions and stuff. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's more emotional. Uh, compared to just having sex, because I, I tell her every day, I'll, I'll just have sex. You'd have sex with anyone that you want to have sex with. I don't have a problem with that. But uh, it is the emotions that I care about. You, you really don't have a problem with her having if, sex with anybody. If, she if wants she's to gonna sex. talk to me about it, yes, and say, yeah, I like this guy and I want to try it. Yeah, I, I, would, I wouldn't have a problem, but I would have a problem if she do it behind my back. You mm. know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's a matter of us sitting down and talking about it and stuff. And I want to understand why she would do it. The same way she would also let me do it. Yes. You know what I'm so when she comes to you and she says, I'd like to explore this, um, in your mind, were you thinking, oh, she wants to date other women? Or were you thinking, Rekao Um, I thought she wants to date another woman. But at the same time, because she's telling me about it, it means Rekao Let's try to find a way to make this work for, for, for the both of us. Mm. That's why we came to an agreement say, don't go and find a girl. I should not go and find a girl. Let's both of us go and find a girl. You know what I'm saying? And was it at the time of the conversation, was it about sex? Because exactly like what you said, when people think bisexuality or they think a couple inviting another woman into their relationship, yeah. it seems like it's about sex. What was it about for you at the time? Um, uh, uh, I, 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 I feel like um, men and women understand things differently. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? At some point, she needs a, a female uh, person that she can level up with and talk to her about other stuff that, that I wouldn't like understand maybe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not really about sex only. Sometimes, she, like for example, she would take me to shopping, I get there, get irritated. Immediately when I get there, I just want to leave. Mm. But if, if we have another girl, maybe she would go with her and then I'm not there and they're fine. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes her she wants to be with someone doing such things. So mm. it, it, it's a lot of things mm. compared to just just sex. Mm -hmm. Because we, we, are, we are emotional beings. We talk, we talk, we talk, 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 talk. That's what we do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, 
yes, we, 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 we love sex, we have sex most, most, like, almost like all the times, but mm. we still make time to talk more than anything. Mm. And sometimes I don't understand her. Sometimes she does not understand me. So she needs someone else that she might understand her. If, if mm. she's saying, I'm looking for a girl, I, I found it that maybe she also wants someone that she can level up if, mm. if I do not understand. Mm. And I mean, the reality is, let's not um, hide from the fact that many people believe that monogamy is a, is, is a lie. Many people don't believe in the concept of monogamy because one person or one companion cannot satisfy everything. And yeah. I'm not talking sexually, I'm talking yeah. in general. They're yeah. not going to tick all the boxes. Yeah. So maybe in some way, if I can uh, maybe find another way to put it, is you are getting an opportunity, both of you, to have another person tick the other boxes that yes. maybe the other person is not ticking. Yes. Is that accurate? Yes, but um, it's not always that case because it's possible that I might get both genders to um, have my satisfactions in relationship with a girl and a guy. Mm. But it happens that the girl doesn't tick all the boxes and the guy doesn't tick all the yes. boxes. So we just have to compromise as long as we understand each other and the relationship is working and there's, we're sharing similar emotions. Mm. So how did you go about, because now you guys agree, let's go find someone together, no going behind each other's backs. How did you start looking for a person? On social media. Did on you Facebook. DM people as a yes, couple? Did How did I not together. get a DM we had from an the account, two of you? Actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just curious, like, how does it work? I agree, these people have this flag. Oh, oh yeah. I see what so you So we go for okay. bisexual people. Not, I got you. Yeah, you know what I'm okay. saying? That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. And luckily, the first person that we went for is the girl that I was looking for. The original the girl. The original. Yo, guys, your yeah. story. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys now found the original girl that you were actually looking for when you ended up getting her phone numbers. Mm -hmm. So how did that connection, like, what was the, what did you say to her? She was also the girl I was um, eyeing on the, at the event, so... So you guys were both actually attracted to the same girl? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we kicked it off with her and it didn't work out, but it was cool. Why didn't it work out? Uh, she lives in Pretoria. And it's too far? It's too far. Oh, wow. <laughs> Apparently. No, like, um, there's a lot of reasons. Because... Um, was it a compat compatibility issue? Yes, I would say that. Mm. I don't know how, how, how you put it. I would say that. Because um, ash, sometimes people think they want something. Yeah. And then when they get it, and then, they're not sure anymore. So basically, it got too real for her. 100%. Yeah. So what, what was the thing that got too real for her? Because already, one might be thinking, Oh, so while she was dating the two of you, she, the reality was I'm literally dating two people and it's too much. Yeah, and when they come back, most of the time they would tell you about their family. No, mm -hmm. my family won't like this. Like, didn't you think about it before you agreed? You know yes. yes. They always come back with such things. Yes. Family. Because um, we, we had a, an Instagram account and we, would, we post everything. We post oh, everything. okay. So it, when we want to post them, then that's when they start pulling back. Oh, oh yeah. they allow us to post them. And yeah. then when, when the pictures like, do crazy numbers, they're like, hey, it's mm. too hot for me. Let me, mm. let me get out of this. Because, yes, um, we, we, we post everything. We post ourselves naked and stuff. We post mm. ourselves doing, like, you know what So we, we don't have limits. Mm. So when that like gets too real for them, they hey, I want to step back. Mm. But in the beginning, they give us the permission. So basically, you guys were auditioning or interviewing different women. How did you land on Naledi? She's a model, mm -hmm. so we have a brand that we're kind of working with, and she was modeling for it. So that's the first time we saw her. Mm. And we got her contacts there, and that's when we started talking to her. But when you got her contacts, was it with the intention of, we'd love to see her in our brand, or it was like, we like her? We, we are not the ones who found her, actually, because we have people agree, we have departments. Yes. Yeah, so they found her, and then, yeah, we started working, like, for a long time. 
and as we talked to her, we, we, we got to know each other and understand each other. And then only to find out, but now nah, she's bisexual and stuff. Mm. Then we would go on a date and yeah, it, it kind of just worked out on its own. Mm, yeah. mm, mm. Okay, so now um, it worked out where now the three of you start dating. What are the practicalities if, let's say, there's date night? Mm -hmm. Who is going on a date with who? Or does date night mean all three of you need to be there? Or you and Naledi can have date night without Fletcher? We can. Okay. And if we're in the same place, we all go together. Because we stay together and she's at home. Yes. So when she has time, we go all out. Or if she wants to go with him, they can go. If I want to go with her, he can stay. Mm. So mm. we just decide how we want it to happen. And so you sort of just go with the flow and you mm. see as, as you go along? Yes. Are there any rules outside of nothing behind each other's backs? In, in most cases, the way we treat it, uh, it, 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 it we, tr we, 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 as, like, we solve a problem as it comes. You mm. know what I'm saying? We deal with, with, with the matter as, as it comes. So we don't really have like... Any, any rules. We just do, we just, we just free. We just do whatever we want to do. And then if, 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 if one doesn't like it, they just say, I don't like this and stuff, mm. you know what I'm saying? And then we talk about it and find out if, if I don't like it and they, they like it, mm. they, can, they can do it. Do you guys ever take votes? No. No. So you never, there'll never be an agenda on the table and then it must be two against one. No, if nope. somebody doesn't want to do something... No one's doing it. Oh. Okay, I think that's fair. That's fair. We try to be fair. How do you deal with jealousy? Is there jealousy? Yeah. That face says there's jealousy. <laughs> yeah, there is. Sometimes. So... Not against the three of us, though. In what way? Um... Ah, we are humans, obviously. If 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 I'm with her or I'm with her or I'm with them, and I, I can see that they're throwing their eyes eyes elsewhere. Uh, I, 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 oh, so you mean not jealousy within the yeah, nah, the nah. the monage et toi? Nah, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> jealousy as in they are eyeing another man. Yeah, so not men, even women. And or oh, women. Yeah. Are you? Concerned about ever getting yeah, yeah. replaced, especially if they don't come back or like and talk about it with me or like mention, oh yeah, hey, check that girl out or check that guy. You know what I'm saying? We still need to talk about that to show that like you were just eyeing. That's it. Mm. In terms of your sexuality, yeah, what is your sexuality? I'm straight. Mm. Yeah. So what if because you are in this polyamorous relationship? Is it agreed that you are the only man that will be in this relationship, even if the circle gets bigger? So far, yes. Oh, so you'd be open? Yeah. Because you said so far. That means like for now. Yeah, like if, if, if that's how it be, it be. I won't stop it. Would you be interested in inviting another man to the group? Right now, no, I'm not. Maybe I'll see. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> mm, mm. I really don't know. But right now, I'm satisfied. And tomorrow, I might say, I, I don't want it anymore. Oh, the and setup. And that doesn't mean I'm going to yeah. stop them from doing whatever they want. Mm. Uh, we are humans. Mm. We, like, we, we change. You're not the same person that you were yesterday. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are challenges. Things, I, I'm not saying our relationship is going to last forever, for example. Mm. Mm. Next day, it might end. Mm. No, I get yeah. that. I so get it's, that. It's just how it is. I, we change minds every day. Um, the two of you just welcomed a little one into the world. Yes. How old is Baba? Two months. Two months. So this is fresh. <laughs> how did you deal with the pregnancy? Does not, did my lady also get to say we are pregnant? Yes, she did. We were all part of it. And what is my lady's relationship with the baby? She's the second mother. She's, so she's second mom. <laughs> um, is, are there any plans for Naledi to also be with child? I think that is um, up to her, her decision to make. It's mm. up to her, mm. yes. But you haven't, you, uh, is haven't. it something that the two of you would like? Yes, mm. we'd be fine with that if she's fine with it. But yes. we would 
I would be fine with it. Yes, yes. So, and I mean, obviously this is, um, I, I hate to use the word normal, but it's not what we see every day. Hence, so many questions. Mm. Um, what kind of reception do you get from your family and people around you? Uh, I would say my family doesn't know. Just my brother knows. They're going to know after this. <laughs> They're going to know after this. But they seem to be cool people. They know about um, sexuality, different sexualities, and they know about people sharing partners. So I don't think they'll have a problem with it. And what about your family? Um, honestly, I don't care how <laughs> Sorry, I think that's the best answer I have ever had of any question on this show. It's like, honestly, I don't care. I love that. Look, respect to that. Because it is your life at the end of the day. Yeah. Mm, but uh, do they know? They don't know, but they, like, they always expect the worst from me. They, they know. They don't, they don't expect anything normal from me. There's this, there's this meme I saw of a guy sleeping peacefully and it says, how I sleep knowing I'm a disappointment to my family. <laughs> Is that your vibe? I'm not a disappointment, though. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 if everything I do, most of the time, it, 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 it's surprising to them, but they'll be like, ah, it's this guy. Yes. But all my brothers know about this. Mm. And everyone in the street know about this. I think they know. They just they, they just they just don't want to entertain it because I'm not from a family where like we sit and discuss things. Mm. We, you just do as you please, mm. and then as long as you trust, it, it, it's a it's a best it's, it's a best decision for your life. Then mm. they are fine. Mm. Mm. Uh, like I haven't done anything that disappoints them. I've done so many things that they thought like key disappointment until they realize or oh oh this way we're going with this. And then they're cool with it. For, so on your side, Letabo, do you believe in marriage? No, I, I don't. And you, you wouldn't want to get I'm married? I'm not interested in it. What if he proposes? What if he gets on one knee? And It's never going to happen. So you also so don't believe in page. marriage? Because <laughs> I was trying to figure out the Khomudia guy. Yeah, we had that. We had like if, currently, like we still have that that pending with our parents, because because uh, you've had a baby. Besides baby, what happened is um, we had to sit them them down and tell them that uh, since we moved in together, you must know that we are together. But you must understand that we do not want to get married. We do mm -hmm. not understand this setup, your marriage, mm. and we're not gonna fall for it. So what we want to do is for you, as our parents, our families, to know each other, mm. to know that we are together. Because um, what is the point of us getting married? I don't understand. She says she doesn't understand. Mm. And I ask them, what is the point of us getting married? They give us the same reason, just for the families to know each other. Uh, okay, let's go. We went there. And then they met her parents, they sat down, they said, uh, uh, my father actually was, was, was persistent that I should pay something. I was like, I'm not going to... And this was nothing to do with damages, just the fact that you do like our Be Before the baby, mm. that is way before, that was last year. Mm. Yeah. And I was like, I cannot do that because I don't believe in those things and I don't understand them. And mm. none of you has given me one good reason to do it. Mm. I mean, I'm with this person. We are together. We're happy. We started business together. We 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 we, we providing ourselves. Even if 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 I die, she's fine. Mm. If 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 she dies, I'm fine. We are mm. fine. So we do not understand why we should get married because we are living like married people. Mm. In fact, if we get married, we're gonna complicate a lot of things for ourselves mm. because if I'm in trouble and she. If I'm blacklisted and I'm married to her, like I might get her in trouble. Maybe it's like ANC, anti nuptial. <laughs> so right now, we are fine. Mm, we are mm. fine. So when are you guys going to do the same conversation with my lady? And would that be if Lidulakao fell? We'll have to move in first. Mm. Yeah. Then she must maybe understand and realize if that's what she wants for real or. Because right now it's easy because she doesn't stay with us, right? She, we, 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 we see each other. Like, for example, because um, we stayed here in Joburg, we moved back home mm -hmm. when she was pregnant just for preparation of the baby. And we're going to move back to Joburg again mm -hmm. next year. Um, so it's kind of easy for, for, 
for her to say, I want this, maybe. Mm. But then what if when we move in together, it's not something that she wants. You get mm. what I'm saying? I understand. But for now, we're fine. Mm. But let's, let's create the hypothetical scenario. Mm. Let's say um, this is what she wants. And she's like, let's all live together. So, mm -hmm. who, at what point do you now say, guys, all families need to meet all families and you need to give us the same respect as if we were married? We, 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 as long as Anna Ari, she's fine. Mm. We can do it. Even if we move in together tomorrow and she say, I'm fine. I want this. This is what I really want. I can mm. tell this is what I want. Then the family can can get to know everything. And as for your family, you don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Look, I, I respect um, your open-mindedness. And I think the beautiful thing about the time that we live in is really people get to carve out a life for themselves. Yeah. Uh, to me, you guys seem happy. And... Whatever you're doing is working for you. <laughs> and I can be honest, not many people are going to understand uh, because there'll still be that confusion of, yeah, it's about sex. It's about wanting yeah. more, but I, I think, it's deeper than that. I think even culture and, and religion, it, those are other things that, that, that make people don't want to understand such things mm. because people come to us with their beliefs when they approach us, when they want to ridicule us. They come with their beliefs, forgetting that we are also humans. We have, mm. we see things our own way also. You know what I'm saying? So we don't even get a chance to re re reply them the way we want because it's offensive to them. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Because, because people want to quote the Bible. They want to quote the Bible, and I don't yes. believe in the Bible. I don't, for example, I don't, maybe I don't believe in the Bible. I'm not a Christian, such things. Mm. So if I, 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 I say, but that does not apply to me, they don't understand. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you're saying this because you read the Bible. You're saying this because you, you, you consult with the Sangomas. Those things don't, don't apply to me. Mm. I don't have faith in all those things. Mm. So you don't make sense to me. So mm. I'm telling you my side of story. This is who I am. This is what mm. I do. And this is how I do my things. And just for clarity, this is literally your first polyamorous relationship. Prior to you being together, you've never, both of you, yes. been yes. in this setup. Yeah. Yeah. How did you discover what the name was? Like, how did you stumble upon that name, polyamory? You know, when you... Um, he was still saying that there's this thing, 5G, when you start <laughs> um, talking about such things that you're in a relationship with two people and then mm. they start suggesting such things. So it actually was suggested to us on Instagram. Like, we started... They started suggesting couples that were in that kind of a throuple mm. relationship. And then that's where we saw the name, that there are accounts of people who have... Uh, who are in a polyamorous relationship. And when you Googled the word, were you like, that's us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how, that's how we figured it out. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything from your side, Fletcher, that you'd like the viewers to know about your life and your situationship? Um, I, I, I always say I don't like explaining myself to anyone. You know what I'm saying? But... What I want to say is everyone got to live their lives. Mm. At the end of the day, you need to live your life. What might, might, be, might be wrong to you might mm. be right to me. Mm. If it makes me happy, then learn to understand that. Because for, I, I, I've come to this conclusion because um, I grew up so closely with my, my siblings. Mm. You hear what I'm saying? And we learned we learned that man for himself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But if you need my help, I'm going to be there. Yeah. Any day, any time. If my brother calls me right now, I'm in trouble, I'm in limbo, I'm going to get out of here and go there. You know mm. what I'm saying? But he's got his life. That's mm. his life. He must live his life. So my, 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 there's a lot of people who like would go to my, my brothers and say, hey, did you see your brother? He's naked over there. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say is, Everyone got to live their own lives the way they want to live it. As long as it satisfies them, then let it be good, man. That's all I gotta say. Mm. And on your side, anything you'd like the viewers to know? Uh, you know, I tend to smile a lot every time he talks because he most of the things he says are 
us to be like we have similar thoughts i can say yeah so i don't know what to say <laughs> but what i can say is that uh people should just live the way they want to they should they shouldn't they shouldn't live to please other people because but khatelela bana baba they live a katla sa khatelelo so na ke phela katla sa khatelelo ke phela ka mogokeng ya ka go phela ka gona so i would advise other people to live how they feel like is the best way for them to live are you guys soulmates that's the thing we don't know what soul we don't know what is what the soul okay. is <laughs> okay okay i hear you <laughs> guys thank you so much for coming through this is quite an enlightening conversation and I definitely believe that because people say, ah, but they're just doing it for attention. <laughs> I think yeah. you literally are just living your own lives yeah. and you're being free and open about it. And I hope this conversation has opened the minds of some of the viewers, introduced them to the concept that it's not polygamy, it's not polyandry. It's polyamory. It's polyamory. It's polyamory. But also, it's all love. It's yes. all love. <laughs> it's all love. Thank you so much, guys, for coming through. Thank, Thank you for you having for us. Yeah. Hashtag unpacked with Rilebukhile. If you hadn't heard about this before today, you heard about it here first. Let us know your thoughts on polyamory or any kind of relationship situationship. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a good night. Next time on Unpacked. So we met in varsity, which is inseparable, you know. Mm. So we lived in a complex and three guys just came up, pushed us into the house. There was a guy with the gun against Numbusu's face. And I said to him, like, please don't shoot. And just heard a loud bang. for watching Unpacked with Rilip Khile Mamoja. Make sure you subscribe to my channel where you can get to watch more episodes. But more importantly, you can be part of our online community. Comment down below, share with us who you'd like to see on the show, what story you'd like us to discuss. We love engaging with you. Keep it coming and don't forget to subscribe.